So let us look at the why, what, how and who of AIoT. Starting with the why. The why is very much about, well, why are we doing this? What is the purpose? What is the expected outcome from a business point of view? Why are we combining AI and IoT? The what really is the perspective on smart connected products or solutions. That's what we're building. The how is the perspective of AOT execution and then delivery. And the who really looks at the roles and the responsibilities. So let's look at each of these topics in turn, starting with what is AIoT. AI and IoT combined starts with the physical product or the asset at the edge. And what we can do here is we can apply asset intelligence to it. So this is AI deployed at the edge. So this can be AI deployed directly on board the asset or close to it and helps us to make the asset itself more intelligent. Now that in itself is not yet an IoT use case because it's not connected, but things start getting more fun when we connect our assets to the cloud using IoT technologies and then in the cloud also using digital twin to manage our physical assets. And for this, of course, we need the connectivity. Once we have this, we then can also apply swarm intelligence. So swarm intelligence is a kind of intelligence that really relates to an entire fleet or a swarm of assets or products in the field. And that together really is what AIoT is all about. Why are we differentiating between products and solutions in this context? Let's take a look at this together, starting with the smart connected product versus smart connected solutions perspective from a what point of view. So products typically are highly standardized, often sold at large volumes. So they need to be well-rounded. And of course, they need to be appealing to customers. So they're typically very feature rich. So a good example here would be a smart connected kitchen appliance that's sold by an OEM, for example. On the other hand, we have smart connected solutions. So they very often are custom solutions, ad hoc solutions to solve a particular problem at a particular site and do this in a very specific manner. So a good example here would be a commercial kitchen. For example, using already smart kitchen appliances, but probably also combining this with a lot of legacy equipment in the commercial kitchen. So this is the difference here really. Products are built by an OEM. So traditionally the OEM relates to the physical product and now we're enhancing this to include digital features, hence the digital OEM. The solutions are basically built by somebody who is running or operating physical equipment and then in the future doing this in a digital way, hence digital equipment operator. 